We've seen several examples where I've used the all data view in the names database in order to avoid having to write joins. So the names database has three tables and they pretty much have to be joined together um, for most queries that you write. Um, the all data view presents something that looks like a table that's composed of all the other tables. Um, but what if you're working with a database like the IMDB database that doesn't have a convenient view? Common table expressions let you do roughly the same kind of thing. And it's also similar to when we've used um, select statements as subqueries inside of other select statements in the from clause. So I can say, for example, select from and then put a subquery here, which returns a table and then use that as a table in the outer query. So the big difference between a common table expression and using um, a table in a subquery is that if I want to use the same table multiple times, I have to repeat that select statement, the subquery, multiple times here as well. So let's take an example of that. Um, in the IMDB database, one thing I might want to do, for example, is find um, all of the movies that have had two specific actors in them. So, for example, I want to find all of the movies that have both Laura Dern and Kyle MacLachlan as actors. And I could write that as one big join, like so. So select, and let's go ahead and select the... Uh, primary title from title basics and then I'm gonna need the um, title principles table to find the actors so join title principles on title basics dot const equals and then I'm actually going to need multiple copies of title principles. So as tp1, tp1.tconst. So that's going to get me um, the people who acted on the movie. And then I need the names. So join name basics as nb1 on tp1.nconst is nb1.nconst. So that's going to get me the name of the actors in the movies. And then that will give me Laura Dern. If I say, for example, where nb1.primary name is Laura Dern, that gives me the movies that Laura Dern has been in. So let's go ahead and execute that. Well, movies and TV shows and things like that. So here's all the stuff with Laura Dern in it. And then if I want Kyle McLaughlin, that's going to be a join of basically this whole thing with this stuff repeated. So I have to go ahead and join again, join with title principles again as TP2 on title basics dot tconst is tp2 dot tconst and then I have to join name basics again to get the name for Kyle McLaughlin nd2 on tp2 dot nconst is nb2 dot nconst and now I can add and nb2 dot primary name is Kyle Mac Lachlan. And I hope I spelled that correctly. We'll find out. Okay, so no, I didn't. So Mac Lachlan. Uh, where's Mac Lachlan? Let's see if I can find. Do I have him here somewhere? MacLachlan. Okay, so that's how it was. So MacLachlan. Okay.
Good. So three films that include both Laura Dern and Kyle MacLachlan. This is probably not a film. So let's go ahead and add and title basics dot title type equal movie. Okay, so we know how to do that works perfectly fine, but you'll notice that I had to repeat these two lines here. And in a more complex join that used multiple tables, I might have four or five or six different lines and I might have some filtering stuff and some other stuff. So this might actually be fairly complicated. So let me rewrite this using a common table expression. So with, and then I give the name of the common table. So let's call that um, title info, for example, as, and then this is like a subquery. So I'm gonna put a select statement here that returns table values. And here, let's go ahead and do select, and I want the uh, primary title and the tconst from title basics join title principles on title basics dot tconst is title principles dot tconst and then let's join name basics on title principles dot inconst is name basics dot inconst. And then I'm going to need inconst as well. And let's go ahead and do primary name. And it doesn't matter what order these are in, but I'm going to keep it tconst primary title and const primary name. Okay, now, so this is ambiguous, so let's use any of them because they all match. And then this is ambiguous as well, so let's use name basics dot nconst. Okay, so if I execute this by itself, And let me add a top 50 here for a second because too much data. But if I execute this query by itself, I get tconst primary title, nconst primary name. And then I can use this table and join it by to itself. So there's my common table, which now I can use inside of a select statement as title info. So select top 50 star from title info, just like this was a table or a view, and it works perfectly fine. So here's the first 50 rows from the title info table, and then I can join that with itself. So from title info, join title info as TI2, as TI1, on ti1.tconst equals ti2.tconst where and then ti1.primary name is Laura Dern and ti2.primary name is Kyle McLaughlin. And, oh, and I probably want to also add, uh, um, if I want to get the title type, let's me, let me add title type. And then here and ti1.title type equals movie. So that looks like the same results. And let's go ahead and just select top, actually let's just select uh, T1, 
primary title. Okay, so these two queries are basically doing the same thing, and you'll notice the second version's actually a little longer than the first version, so it doesn't look like I've saved a lot of work. But in a more complicated example, I may. So let's go ahead and look at, um, for example, I want to find all of the people that uh, two shows have in common, and I want to include title writer, title director, and title principles. And uh, so I'm going to be creating a common table expression that gets all the people associated with a movie. And then I'm going to use that to join um, two, two copies of that common table expression together um, based on people and then return the list from the join. So with title people as... So I want to select, um, let's go for um, tconst and nconst from title directors. And then I want to union that with select tconst nconst. from title writers and union that with select tconst and const from title principles. So that's my first table. And then I can have a second common table expression as well. So this one gives me the people. And then let's do named as, and then select tconst and const primary name and primary title from, and then I can refer to title people here, join title basics on title people.tconst equals title basics.tconst, join name basics on title people dot nconst is name basics dot nconst and then title people title people And then if I wanted to keep the same order as I had before, let's go ahead and move this one up here. Okay, so tconst, title people, nconst, primary name. And then let's see where we are so far. So select top 50 star from named. Okay, so that looks good so far. So that's all the people along that worked on movies along with their names and the name of the show. And then we're going to go ahead and do from named as N1, join named as N2 on. And then I want the people that are in common between these two things. So let's go ahead and say n1.nconst is n2.nconst. And then let's go ahead and give it two movies. So where n1. Dot, um, primary title equals, say, blue velvet and 
n2 dot primary title equals wild at heart. So this is going to be all the people who were both in Blue Velvet and Wild at Heart, including actors, directors, writers, and so on. So let's see what we get. Okay, so David Lynch, who directed both movies, and Laura Dern, who acted in them, Angela Badalamente, who did the sound, and Leon Davis, I'm not sure what he did. So let's go ahead and add his role. So I'm going to go ahead and add, this is a director as category. And we'll add writer as category. And for this one, we'll add category. So that's going to give me what they did. And then in addition to the end const and name, I'm going to also add category. And then that should be it. So let's go ahead and execute now. Okay, so David Lynch both directed and wrote, and I probably want to get rid of some of these duplicate lines here. Um, Laura Dern was actress, Angela Badalamenti was composer, and then Leon Thomas actually acted, directed, wrote in Blue Velvet. Hmm. I don't even know who Leon Thomas is. So let's go ahead and just finish up this query. So I'm going to include everybody. I'm only going to include, let's do primary title. And I want distinct. Primary title. Primary name. And category. And I want to specify N1, N1, N1. And actually, so your category in the first film may be different from your category in the second film. So what I actually want, primary title, primary name, category for the first film, and primary title and category for the second film, and the person is the same for both. Okay, so let's see what we got. Composer, so David Lynch directed Blue Velvet and directed Wild at Heart. He also directed Blue Velvet and was a writer on Wild at Heart. He was a writer on Blue Velvet and a director on Wild at Heart. So this is like a cross a little bit. Um, and then Laura Dern was just an actress on both. Leon Thomas was an actor on Blue Velvet, but an actor and director on Wild at Heart. Oh, and he was also a director yeah, and writer. Okay, so I got nine combinations for Leon Thomas. Now this is a little more obvious why repeating this whole expression multiple times is going to make the query much more complicated.